Hey guys, welcome to Bastion Time. I'm your host, Bastion. I know I've been gone for a very long time. I think two weeks is when I last recorded. Two weeks ago is when I last recorded the previous video. I'll get to all of that at the end after all of the news if you want to stick around to hear my trials and tribulations and life changes and all kinds of fun things. That will be at the end of the video. But for now, let's just talk about the fact that I did actually record another video before this one that will cover a lot of the same topics, but it was a total disaster. I probably could have salvaged it, but the simple fact that the file wouldn't import correctly uh, at the time and I just I just didn't want to have to try to salvage it. Basically I kept getting interrupted a bazillion times and so I'd rather just record a brand new video. But I might go ahead and take out all of those little bloopers from that previous video and go ahead and put them like as a special bonus video on like my Patreon or something like that. So stay tuned for that. There's probably a link down there for my Patreon. Anyways, let's get on to the news that I kind of covered last time, but I want to cover uh, not last time. You guys never saw that version. But um, anyways, first of all, an analyst says that they think that Nintendo will shrink the size of the Switch by 2019. The reasoning for this is the fact that they feel like little kids hands are too small to really handle this big massive screen which I mean to us to we adults the screen doesn't seem so big and massive but I kind of get what they're going at you know kids are used to the smaller size of like a 3DS so they feel like Nintendo's just going to release a much smaller version of the Switch sort of geared more towards kids. It will probably be identical to the Switch hardware-wise and everything, but it will come in 2019. This is just complete speculation uh, on this analyst's part. I mean, there's no rumor or anything that Nintendo's doing anything like this, but it does seem kind of likely, uh, so we'll just have to see if that manifests. And as you probably have already heard, they have, Nintendo's decided to completely discontinue the NES Classic Edition. That's that shrunken size, smaller version of the NES. They clearly are doing this to create some exclusivity. They don't, they know they can sell tons more, but they kind of don't want to. Obviously, they want to keep the quantities limited, so it's like a rare thing. Um, and so rare, in fact, that if you look on eBay trying to buy a new one, you're... It's ridiculous. The prices are astronomical. But the other likely reason is that since this thing came out holiday season this year, next, or I guess last year, next year, uh, this coming December-ish area, they're probably going to release an SNES classic. So... And then let me guess, the year after that, a Nintendo 64 classic, and so on and so forth. And so we've got the Switch classic, right? Um, anyways, it's an amusing idea. I think it's pretty likely. I mean, the NES classic was such a hit for them. Uh, I can't imagine why they wouldn't want to do an SNES classic and create more of that hype. And especially considering they're really going to want to focus on the holidays of grabbing new Switch customers because, you know, they'll have more plentiful supplies and uh, more games. They'll want to be able to grab in people and say, hey, you old fogies who played, you know, A Link to the Past on the SNES, now you can again. And oh, by the way, there's this brand new Zelda game that's amazing and everybody loves and it's won all these awards at this point probably, so... That's my guess. We'll get an SNES Classic uh, this coming holiday season. Our next story comes from a Mr. Um, I don't think it's Mr. Onuma. I think it's the director of the Breath of the Wild game, wherein he talks about how they came up with this idea where Link would stab his sword into a cliff and then he could stand on the sword and recover stamina. And they thought that would be a great way for him to recover stamina and and anyways, apparently this lasted in the game really close up to release date, whereat Mr. Mimoto said, you know what? It doesn't make any sense that he can stand on his sword. People can't stand on swords. No no no, let's just completely cut that idea. So 
Yikes. It would have been interesting, but I kind of see Mr. Miyamoto's point. I don't really see how you could stab a sword into, you know, it's rock, basically, but it could work. And then our final story for the day is about the fact that <sighs> Nintendo of America is kind of at it again. Three decades ago, they invented, out of whole cloth, a last name for Ganon. Um, if you're not familiar, in the uh, A Link to the Past North American version, they completely deviated from the translation from the original Japanese version and just tossed in a couple extra names for Ganon that they invented all by themselves that the developers of the Zelda series have no hand in making. These are just some random people at Nintendo of America's translation team and this was way before things were so structured and there was a lot of you know currently there's a lot of like give and take between North America and Japan as far as the naming of things goes um, and there's a lot more attention to detail <laughs> not so much in the SNES and NES era wherein again these guys just completely invented a name for him and that's fine, that was only in one instance and never referenced it ever again, but now suddenly on Zelda.com, which is owned by Nintendo of America, they're once again insisting that Ganon's name is Ganondorf Dragmire. Now as a kid, I thought Dragmire sounded so cool and sinister, but when I learned that it doesn't actually come from the developers, that it's just random fan fiction by a couple guys at Nintendo of America who somehow snuck it in and, and left it in there, I was like, well, then that can't be canon. But now we've got Zelda.com, which is owned by Nintendo, calling him Ganondorf Dragmire. He's never called that in any game ever, not even A Link to the Past, only in the instruction manual. So I don't know why this annoys me so much, but I just know that tons of people are going to be like, well, Nintendo said his last name is Dragmire, and it's like... Yeah, not really though. It just some random guys at Nintendo of America came up with that, but... And then of course the other fun name is Mandrag Ganon, which... I don't know. Anyways, it's interesting, but in my opinion not canonical. If you want to read more about that, there's a link down there for you. That's it for this episode. I just wanted to take a quick moment to talk about why the heck I've been gone for so long. And that's basically because... Um... As you may have noticed, the background is a little different. I used to record at the office that I worked at. For three years, I worked as a web designer at a tiny little three-person company. It was awesome. I love my coworkers. I love my boss. Um, but about three months ago, he decided it was time for him to sell the business. And it wasn't like selling it in such a way that I could stay on with it. He was like selling it to a to a larger business that already had plenty of web developers. And anyways, the point is, I have realized as I found out that was happening, you know what, web design isn't really my passion anymore. I thought it was for a while there, but it, it's, uh, I think it's true of most jobs. You kind of have an idealized idea of what you think that job is going to entail, and then when you learn the realities of it, which is, your clients don't let you <laughs> be creative, that they've got very, frankly, awful design choices that they need you to implement to make them happy, and it goes against all of your better judgments, but you do it anyway, you kind of hate the thing that you end up creating for them, even though they love it, so... In any case, I decided web design's not for me, so I decided well, what am I truly passionate about? And besides doing these videos, which I cannot make a career at doing, apparently, um, personal training. I mean, I, I used to do it in the past for like a month, and then, uh, then I went on and did web design. But um, anyways, I really like it. So lately I've just been trying to get a new certification, so I've been studying constantly non-stop and also I'm gonna have to take that test and I've been interviewing all over the place and so I just never really forced myself to make time for compiling news stories to talk about and then recording them and then editing them and then uploading them and doing all of the tags and the thumbnail picture and all that stuff. I just as I was looking at all of the stuff that involves making these videos these past two weeks I was like 
I need to be studying. I need to pass this test soon so that way I can get hired soon. So uh, anyways, so that's where my focus has been and will continue to be, to be perfectly honest with you. So there might be a couple videos this week, but that's probably going to be about it. Definitely not a daily thing. Um, maybe it might reduce down to once a week kind of thing, like uh, here's all the news rounded up in one video kind of deal. Maybe that's what we'll be doing going forward for at least a little while until my schedule gets a little less crazy. But anyways, that's it. See you guys, uh, I don't know, a couple days for more news probably. Bye guys.